Well, t th these may be some of the most horrific crimes ever committed in Utah. More than 40 years ago, boys started disappearing from their homes. The question, though, was who was responsible? There was a task force. They went to work. They wanted to find the suspect or the suspects. And at the same time, they had tireless work to do. They wanted to find out whether these boys were even still alive. Now, for four years, parents were on edge. The cases remained unsolved. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Beginning in 1979, Salt Lake City Police began looking for a four year old boy. His name, Alonzo Daniels. Now, he made headlines back then, other than the fact that he was one of five boys murdered by a serial killer. Very little is known about who he was. Over the next few nights, the Justice Files will show you who these five boys were and what they meant to their mothers and loved ones. Uh, it was happening, uh, as I say, about once a year or so, a, a child just disappeared, a young boy. From 1979 to 1983, someone is preying on little boys, waiting for an opportunity to strike. And he does. It begins at this apartment complex in Salt Lake City's west side. The very first case in 1979 was a four-year-old boy named Alonzo Daniels who disappeared from apartment complex. The four-year-old boy was playing when a man who lived in the same complex lured him to his apartment with a promise of candy. Little Alonzo was never seen again. Meanwhile, there was an all-out search for little Alonzo. Police went door to door and even into the Jordan River looking for Alonzo. One person caught the attention of investigators. Bishop lived in that complex and was interviewed by detectives at the time. And, um, the detectives thought he was a weird guy. But this person of interest was never arrested. Little did police know that inside the man's apartment, Alonzo was already dead. The killer would later place the little lifeless body in the trunk of his car and bury the boy's body in a remote area near Cedar Fort in Utah County. He's never found, and his mother suffers an unimaginable pain. In a blog posted online, it's believed the heartbroken mother wrote this about Alonzo. The day my child was born was the greatest day of my life. Even though I was so young when I gave birth to him, I know Alonzo is a blessing from God. You see, the day he was born was a miracle. Alonzo's mother, who wants to remain anonymous, was 14 years old when she gave birth to Alonzo in Salt Lake. She said it was a difficult birth. There were complications, and she was heavily sedated. Finally, two days went by. I finally was able to see Alonzo. His eyes opened up. I saw a spirit of his soul, so sweet and full of love. He was my miracle baby. I remember always being overprotective of him. But on that fateful day in October 1979, a stranger found an opening. What parents need to realize is that children are picked not for any special purpose. They're picked because they're there. They're available. For four years, the remains of Alonzo Daniels were never found. Tomorrow night, as we continue with the five boys, an 11-year-old boy is kidnapped in broad daylight. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.